He's allowed me to go to Las Vegas, and he's allowed me to go to Houston, Texas also. And uh, then, uh, and those are the cities that I'm beginning to look at very carefully, as well as Philadelphia. And there's something God is doing that you need to be very aware of. And just as was said by our sister, so is the enemy trying to stop it. This morning, the reason we were late getting here, we went down to get the car. And at the Marriott, you have to park in a parking lot. And, uh, you know, it's a secure parking lot. And you have to have a code to get out. And the guy who was trying to get out <laughs> couldn't get out. So, I mean, there was Aaron sat there. Finally, I had to go get the desk uh, person, and I said, you're going to have to come out here and go get the guy out of the parking lot. And the Lord spoke to me, and he gave me the scripture for us. And I loved what Peter said because, you know, my life is a relationship. Now, I've written lots of books, 45-plus books. So if you want to understand things, understand teaching, you can read those books, but I don't go to a place to just teach, one, two, three, four. I used to teach in, in uh, universities, but I ha and I have done that once this year, but I, that is not my role in life. My role in life is to come be with you, be a part of what you're doing, and say, how are we going to see the glory of God come to this area? Now, that's what I'm here for. But the Lord spoke to me out of Malachi this morning for you. He said, For behold, the day is coming, burning like a furnace, and all the arrogant, proud, self-righteous, haughty, and every evildoer will be stubble, and the day that is coming shall set them on fire. That's wild, isn't it? Says the Lord of hosts, so that it will leave them neither root nor branch. In other words, I'm going to write... I'm going to wipe out that which is breeding that fruit of evil. But for you who fear my name with all filled reference. Now poke somebody next to you and say, I think he's talking about you. <laughs> now this was when this guy couldn't get out of the gate this morning. I mean, the gate was blocked. He didn't have the right code. He couldn't get out, and I said, Lord, I got to get through the gate and get out the gate. Now, I'm standing out front. I went to one policeman. He said, I don't work here. And I said, I got to get, we got to get out the gate. So the Lord spoke this to me. But for you who fear my name with all feel reverence, the son of righteousness will rise with healing in its wings. And you will go forward and leap joyfully like calves released from the stall. And the Lord says, I am about to bring you out of what has been stalled here and bring you through a new gate. And you will accomplish my purpose in this area. Now. The real reason, I, my, one of my very favorite scriptures, the real reason that we're here, uh, first of all, we go from here to Israel. John will be going with me, and we couldn't be at a better place this morning to be sent to Israel from. Thank you so much for that. Let's thank God for our house that loves Israel. <laughs> and of course, our president is there in Israel right now, so... Only God on our first trip could ordain a time, ordain something like this. So uh, that's how I'm having to walk. I mean, I have not been on an international trip since fe uh, February of 2020. And the Lord says, your first trip will be back to Israel. And he chose the day to go. And there's reasons we're going. So please pray for us. And Daniel and Amber will be going. But they had other places that they had to be today in uh, Manhattan. So uh, it is just a blessing. Daniel had the most incredible dream this morning. 
I mean, most incredible, specific dream. I, I don't feel uh, privileged to share it, but it was, I believe, a dream for the future of this nation that is so key with some detailed information in it, and that had to happen here in Queens. Now, I'm telling you, there's a portal of revelation over you. You need to grab hold and press in and stick your head up in it. It's amazing. Now, here in Acts 17, this is where Paul is in Athens, and he's trying to figure out how to talk to the people. And then he finally sees this statue to an unknown God, and he said, I'll use that thing that's evil and I'll preach the gospel from it. Now, I'm saying that for a reason. We're going to have to think out of the box as we go into this new phase of things. And so he uses this statue and he starts preaching and he says, uh, he is the Lord of heaven and earth. This God that you don't understand here, that you're dedicating the statue to, that's a God that I worship, and let me explain him to you. So he starts explaining him. He said, he's the God who created the world and everything in it. Since he is Lord of heaven and earth, he doesn't dwell in temples made with hands, nor is he served by human hands as though he needed anything. He said he made from one man every nation of mankind. Look at somebody and say, we all come out of the same pot. The same pot. That'll sort of defeat all that prejudice we carry around. Because you speak into your own pot when you're speaking to somebody that doesn't look just like you. Now, and he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on the face of the earth having determined their appointed times and boundaries of their lands and territor territories. In other words, he has a perfect time and a perfect place for us to be. And that's really the key of why we're here. When we're at the right place at the right time, the word of God says, in him we leave, live and move and exist. And because he is very near to us, we can grab hold of him. So I want you to decree that he is coming new and fresh here in Queens. Now, now let, let me sort of always recap. We're doing uh, a couple of more meetings here, but we want to build on last night where we were at in Staten Island and uh, then always just come to where we are today. And so really what we're doing is we're pulling heaven's breakthrough into the earth. Now, why are we doing that? Because heaven is filled with glory, and we want to wear it in a new way. Uh, Psalms 102 says that the heavens actually change. God puts them off like an old garment. So there comes a time when he has set aside a new season, a new era, where we're going to receive a new glory realm into the earth realm. So why we're here in New York is to pull this new glory realm in. And it, uh, when we were coming back last night from Staten Island, we came by the train station where we had once uh, uh, had a meeting in 2008, May, May 31st, 2008, where God visited me and showed me this nation and showed me 23 states in this nation that he was reforming covenant with. Wow. Now, uh, it doesn't matter what it looks like on the outside. Now, not every state in this nation formed covenant with him. And uh, there were only 23. Two were hanging in the balance. One was Florida. Now, the year that uh, COVID happened, the year before that, I went to Florida, I think, 18 times. And that state now is probably the leading state in covenant in America right now. Let's thank God for that. 